here for their all you can eat fish and chips. That is right. So last time I was at all you can eat fish and chips, I got kicked out. A few minutes later. I was just thinking about what to charge you. He's okay. You ate, pretty, you ate a, about a box of fish? <laughs> I don't know. Ten pounds of fish. Is it really? Yeah. Can we eat that many? Oh no! So here we are here for their all you can eat fish and chips. That is right. So last time I was at all you eat fish and chips, I got kicked out. So I'm really hoping that's not gonna happen today. But here are my good friend Scott. We're both big eaters, and we're gonna eat some delicious looking fish and chips. So yeah, obviously there's no time limits or anything, it's just like all you can eat, we're here. So I hope you sit back, relax, enjoy as we enjoy some delicious fish. Let's see how many of these things we can bang out. That's about it, brother. Yeah. Ready to eat some food? Starving. Let's get eaten. Always. All right, everybody, so let's, uh, we haven't tried anything yet, but I'm ready to take a, a good old bite of this crispy looking delicious fish. Mm. That's good. Nice and light. I think they make their tartar shots here too. Mm. It's really good. Nice big pieces of fish as well. Nice and light inside. I'm a big tartar sauce and ketchup person. So you'll be seeing me use that combination. Mm. If you've never tried it, you gotta try it everybody. The two together. Yeah, okay. it gives you sweet, it gives you that nice kind of little bit bitterness, acidity that the uh, tartar sauce does. And for those who are In other parts of the world, it is ketchup, not tomato sauce. <laughs> Big difference, but I like ketchup. That's the hardest part. I like fish in general. Mm -hmm. Hey everyone, welcome to this video where today I'm not actually excited to be bringing you this video under these circumstances. Um, you know, I'm going to keep the name of the place private for the sake of the establishment, um, to which we really wanted to bring a positive review to. Um, we were being very, very, very positive and very generous with our words and our expectations, uh, to which you know we were even overlooking small things and we really we were going to give them no you know negative uh, criticisms um, etc even when it came to the food however the overall situation kind of crashed and burned and uh, well let's get into it so different eating with knives and forks right yeah i know <laughs> they eat more casually we just got trying to do food challenges together so we usually very high intensity and much uh not so leisurely. So the funny thing is too, so these guys are open from, like the all you can eat fish is four to 10. So we're here right at four o'clock and we're like, how long do you think we're gonna stay here? <laughs> <laughs> so things started out quite well. The establishment offered this all you can eat fish and chips uh, two nights a week. Um, it was $15 and yeah, all you can eat fish and chips. So we figured that we were probably going to be slow plated it. So we figured like they probably were not going to be very prompt to bring us the items. And the way they had it set up is they would only bring you out like one piece of fish essentially at a time. Um, you did have the option to have fries or to not have fries. So it was seemingly okay. Well, we'll just have to deal with one piece of fish at a time. And we were encouraging to bring two or three because we'd eat them. Do you find the places that you go to usually have you have to have the fish and the chips, or do they just bring out fish if you want? It's only my second time ever being in all you can eat fish and chips. Mm. Um, yeah, no, yeah, this is only my second time. Like I said, the last time I was kicked out. <laughs> they were willing to bring just fish though. Yeah. So they cut me off. So if you guys have <laughs> if you guys haven't seen that video yet, definitely check it out. I'll put a card on the screen. Or I'll put it down in the link below. I'll put it somewhere so you can watch that after this video. But now you, Scott, you've been to All You Can Eat. You have a, you have a personal favorite place for All You Can Eat. Absolutely, I've got a place in Kelowna there called Sea Lovers. Uh, it's a franchise location. 
Uh, and yeah, it's, I have, they know me now so I can have as much fish as I want there. So I just go and eat as many pieces of fish as I can, so. Although we might have a new spot today. <laughs> That's right. Because we, it was both our first time being here for the all you can eat. That's right. That's really good so far. There we go. Awesome. Thank you. Appreciate it. Whatever you like. Yeah. Thank you very I much. Just put them all in one plate. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Like I said, feel free to get some more coming too. Okay. Thank you so much. Did you want a few more fries? Um, I I think I'd t I'll stick with just fish for just now. Fish? Yeah, yeah that'd be great. I'll start another couple. Sure. Okay. Like I said, keep, keep them running. Thank okay. you. Yeah. The establishment was slow when we entered, so we, they weren't busy. Um, and we had a uh, one waitress. There was only one waitress that we uh, kind of saw and were talking to. Um, and things were going pretty well. Um, the overall food was solid. It was all right. I mean, it wasn't the best fish and chips we ever had, but it wasn't the worst. Um, and when we, you know, were encouraging to bring more, um, you know, there was a once or twice like this, I think this case where she brought out three pieces for the two of us, so it would be a piece and a half at a time, you know, which, hey, we appreciated the effort, and uh, really we had no complaints about the speed, it wasn't going to be something that, under normal circumstances, I really would have mentioned, um, any more than being objectively, and that's still how I'm going to, you know, kind of suggest, or I'm going to mention it now, that it's like a one piece at a time thing, which was totally fine, and, you know, again, whether they were going to take their time or not, which just seemed like they were, no big deal. We were just hoping, again, for an overall positive experience where we could enjoy some good food or at least some pretty good food and sit back, relax, and, you know, just kind of take it from there. Um, we didn't have a goal in mind of how much food we were going to eat. We were just going to have our good fill. We are going to have some fun with it, make a video on all you can eat fish and chips because last time I had a negative experience. All right, so she came back and we have another piece each. We're super excited. Hopefully it'll pick up a little bit more, but this will be great nonetheless. Oh yeah. Be good so far, so. Cheers. Cheers to that. Woo. This one's hot. They are very, very hot. Like I said, we're, we're both pretty hungry. We're famished from today. We did have some delicious food, I will say that, but just a, just a very, very, very little bit. We both like to eat, especially we're in the mood to eat, and we're in the mood for both of us to eat. So, we've been talking about this for a while now. So. Yeah, honestly, we've been actually trying to come here since the last time I was here, mm -hmm. like four, five, four, about like four months ago. It's been a while. So we've been talking about doing this for actually, we've been doing this for like seven months. But planning on coming here <laughs> for four. So like I said, jokes aside, although for sure we definitely would have appreciated if we could have had more pieces at once, you know, we understood it was one and we were just going to make the best of it and ride it out. Like I said, we uh, we actually came to this place right at the start of their uh, All You Can Eat Fish and Chips hours, expecting we might be there for a little while. All right, got another round. Looks beautiful. Nice and crispy. Let's have that. Try not to break it all over, but nice and crispy. Very hot as well. Very, very hot. This was by far the best round of fish that we had received. Um, it was crispy, it was cooked really well, and she actually brought us a couple pieces, like three. I also ordered some more fries. I actually do like crispy fries in moderation. When you eat them normally. So this will be a, uh, so you know, we'll enjoy some. I, the fish is, this is definitely good. This is definitely the uh, the main point. That crispiness on these ones is just, whew, you hear that? Wow. So this is where things really started to get interesting. Like I said, we'd only talked to the one waitress at this point. Um, and we arrived at the start of the all you can eat fish and chips hours on a Friday night All you can eat fish being from between 4 and 10 o'clock. We arrived there literally at like 4 or 5 We were there right at the start. So upon finishing this order of fish We went to order more to which the lady said to us uh, Something along the lines of oh, there's only like five pieces left for the whole night and She didn't say really any like just kind of it was kind of like oh like I don't know if we can give you more kind of thing that's kind of our impression to which we looked at each other and said that seems kind of odd we've really only had a couple each and this is the start of their night all right back with another round got some fish we just got a few more fries some, some chips this time 
Give her a go. All right, because YOLO. Round four? Mm, four or five. Four or five, some of that. Kind of at a half. We had like a half round or two. Yeah. And so assuming that what she said was genuine, we also genuinely cared. So we said, okay, well, you know, just bring us out a couple pieces of fish, bring some fries, we'll ease the kitchen. And we were under the assumption that actually we might have to leave in a couple moments, which I mean would have been fine if they were actually out of fish. How you doing? Hey, how are you? Good. Good. Yeah. You like that fish? It's good so far. Yeah. 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 How many things are you going to eat? How many you got? <laughs> <laughs> it's good. Yeah, yeah, good, good, good. We'd like to hear that. Well, it's good so far, so yeah. we'll keep, keep enjoying it. Yeah, okay. yeah, so thank you. Awesome. Yeah, enjoy. Thank Cheers. You. This is where things started to get really confusing. As you can tell, Scott and I looked at each other just baffled and oddly confused after what that gentleman just said. So that gentleman was either an owner or a manager, and he visibly just arrived at the restaurant. So under from that, my understanding would be that they actually cut us off, or the lady was going to cut us off. That's kind of how me and Scott you know, interpreted it. Um, this guy, but this guy just arriving said they had quite a bit of fish. So we were like, okay, well, this is our green light. We're going to obviously be able to go ahead despite potentially being cut off. Or, you know, I don't understand under what circumstances the lady would tell us they only had, let's say five pieces of fish left in the whole establishment for the whole night. Um, but you know, without a doubt, like I said, the gentleman just said he had quite a bit. We're like, okay, good to go. We were not anticipating any more issues. And obviously we were anticipating not being told there was no more fish again. So we assumed that it would be smooth sailing from there. You know, again, maybe there was some kind of miscommunication between the, the, the kitchen and the waitress or you know maybe there was fish hidden somewhere i'm really not sure but it seemed odd that we were you know cut off and then green lighted just dropped off some more fish we were both eager to get started again i think we ordered so much fish that they have had to bring someone else in <laughs> to help out so we're hoping that uh hoping that helps it out continues sure. at a That's steady pace exactly so we got some more fish. This time they gave us about a piece and a half to two pieces each. About done the second bottle of ketchup. No big deal. And while luckily they seemed to have a good supply of ketchup and there was no issues with the amount of ketchup and or tartar sauce we were receiving, which I really do think that combination is excellent. Like I said, guys, on a deep fried fish, it has to be deep fried fish. It's not the same as any other kind of fish, but on deep fried fish, you gotta try ketchup and you gotta try a tartar sauce combination. It is a really good pairing. Um, of course, they are great by themselves, but it also is a really good pairing together, especially if that fish is really nice and crispy and fresh and hot, a nice, you know, thick beer batter or something, just very, very good. Um, anyway, back to the story. Um, so here we go. Like I say, we were like, we're smiling again. We're like, no more issues. This is going to be great. And hopefully with that gentleman there, um, you know, who was seemingly just told us they hit a lot of fish for us. And we were like, maybe we'll actually be able to get more pieces coming at a time versus just one. Wise words of Ariana Grande. Thank you next. Thank you next. Round whatever this is. Six ish. Ish. Because we've got kind of the half rounds, we've got some full rounds, all the rounds. So we both understand, you know, we'll say interpersonal cues and communications. And so like I said, to have the experience where we were told no and kind of cut off and seemingly not welcome to just being welcomed by the gentleman was still kind of odd. But that being said, we kind of both decided, all right, well, while we unfortunately did not get to eat half, even a quarter of what we anticipated to eat, again, we were really hoping to just come on in, have a great, you know, feed and enjoy ourselves. We decided we were, you know, ultimately going to like, we'll go really light and easy and we were going to start to finish up and close up to close shop just because, you know, we don't want to be somewhere where we're not overly welcomed. Time to loosen the belt a little bit. Don't know if it was the best plan today to wear jeans, but. I have uh, Lululemon yoga pants on. <laughs> I left my Lululemon yoga pants at home, so. Yeah, see, often on videos you guys don't realize you can only see the top, the top half. Like what we normally wear is those like really, really tight 
ladies' Lululemons. Mm -hmm. I really pull them really far into my bottom cavity. AKA, I pull them out my butt so you can really see everything. Moose knuckle and all. <laughs> Takes the pain away from the stomach. <laughs> yeah. When you're that tight inside of you, or you have that tight something not that tight on you, you don't feel, you feel, you don't feel pain or hunger. All right, round whatever we're at. Seven-ish. And then we ordered one more. Um, we've been here for quite a while, so we need to get going. We have a time limit, uh, like not imposed by the restaurant, but we gotta get out of here. Yeah. We've been here all like for a while. So I think it's around eight, actually. It's, it's yeah, eight, eight and a half, seven and a half, here. quarter, times five, <laughs> something. Either way, so more fish, guys. Yeah. Cheers. So as I mentioned, we self-imposed a limit. Um, we were, like I said, like, hey, we'll just leave it easy. We won't have that much. So at this point, like I said, we were we were okay. We were content. We figured it would be all right, you know, to kind of end it here, go from there. Um, you know, like I said, we didn't quite get the experience we were looking for, but we weren't going to mention that. We are going to overlook it. Again, overall, the staff have been great. And like I said, we really wanted to give a full, loving, um, you know, review and, you know, give this place some great exposure. Um... However, you know, let's just say this is where things started to get a little fishy, even fishier than fishy. It was fishy earlier when we officially got cut off, or at least we're told there was no more fish. Now things were just going to get a little weirder. Last round, so we got to go. But at that, let's do it. And yes, this is officially two bottles of ketchup. That's kind of, actually, that in itself is kind of messed up. I think so, yeah. yeah. Guys, maybe I do have a problem. This is the first time I'm questioning my ketchup, my ketchup love. It's not pop bottles, it's ketchup. Yeah, well, I'm catching these pop bottles. <laughs> pop. So, what you're about to see and how this situation is about to unravel is we were here eating and or the same gentleman who told us he had lots of fish came back to us, approached us. Again, I'm assuming he either talked to the people already at the restaurant or I don't know how they came about it and under what situation and circumstances but he decided to come talk to us and essentially he decided to start he asked us to ask us to pay more for the all you can eat we thought this was very very odd I'm a man of principle so I thought it was just weird that we signed up for one price and they wanted us to pay another now admittingly it wasn't like they were forcing us to I mean they technically couldn't force us but it seemed very, very, very odd. And like I said, we already stopped ourselves with this last order and we told them this was the last order. So I'll let you watch the situation. Let's see what happens. Well, just thinking about what to charge you. It's okay. You ate, pretty, you ate a, about a box of fish? <laughs> I don't know. Pounds of fish. Is it really? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that many? Well, like maybe 14 pieces each? Yeah, 16. 16. 14. Something like that? Yeah, okay. If I just charge you the cost of, of the box of fish. Well, it was, it was like fifteen dollars each, right? For the lady was saying. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I guess I just I guess to start off, I like you know it's like it's like fifteen dollars, so yeah. I guess I didn't expect it to be to be more per se. No, no. Um, we well, never had that happen for you. Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess like for me, it would just be I guess more like you know I don't know, kind of like. A, I'm not like, I don't, I don't want to say no, but at the same time, like I said, we went into it thinking it was like one cause. Right. right. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I don't want to, you know, be rude or anything. I just didn't expect there to be uh, uh, an additional charge, I guess. Okay. Say. Well, right. the waitress was saying you didn't mind paying more, so. No, I said like if, if we ordered any extras and waste. We didn't eat we, it. We, yeah, we didn't eat it, we'd pay for oh, it. Oh, I see. Okay. Just yeah. like all the other. All right, well, you did it. Yeah. Okay. okay, yeah, thanks. Well, 
spots. Um, they were trying to cut us off then. I don't know. He said he always said he wants for a talk to the lady. Anyway, um. Alright everybody, so anyway, uh, we're going to sign out here, we got to hit the road, um, but yeah, so with that everybody, hope you enjoyed today's video, until next time, say happy other and you're happy eating, have a lovely night. Don't do as we do. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. That's it, There's nothing more to say than that, kind of, uh, kind of a loss of words to be honest. And if you could not tell by the looks on her faces, if you could not tell by how awkward that situation got, let's just say I felt and we both felt certain types of ways to which I decided, you know, sometimes you're just better off not to say anything at all. So with that, everybody, that was the interesting situation. Not only did they essentially did we get cut off at the fish and chips, then we got approached to pay more. And to be honest, I'm not even going to tell you whether we paid more or not. Because maybe we did. But it was more a matter of principle that I thought was very shocking. And I am very much, and I do agree, and I think, you know, if you sign up for something at $15, it should be fulfilled at $15. It should not, you know, be something brought upon you. And I do understand that he asked again it wasn't enforced you despite him not being able to force us to pay more anyway but let's just say an overall very interesting experience i really hope you enjoyed this video let me know down below what you think what would you do in that situation and ultimately hopefully one day i'll get an all you can eat fish where i don't get kicked out i don't get cut off i don't get charged more and I hope that you have great endeavors and great experiences in all your all-you-can-eat buffets and eating endeavors. So until next time, everybody, happy eating. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you click my face right here, you can subscribe. Yes, that's right. Click my face. Subscribe, guys. It helps me out. It helps you out. Then you don't miss an upload. And hopefully, I can meet you when I come to your city. Also, click a video right here. I specifically picked two videos. Yes, that's right. Two videos specifically for you right here. So click a video right now. Get that going. And it's going to end. So click one quick. Let's go. Let's go.